Okay, it's like 7 in the morning, and I just woke up, but my nail fell off. Ow! My, I, I got fake nails on, and so I went to glue it back on, and I glue. Ow! I glued my finger to my blanket. It's 7 in the morning. Hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. I can't, but man, it's not, ow! <gasps> I got it. <laughs> okay, I'm aware you can barely see me right now, but so here's the thing. I'm driving home from babysitting and I don't know, I'm just on edge. I'm on edge. I don't, okay, because here, here's the thing. Some of you know this story. One of the last times I was babysitting in this neighborhood, I was leaving and there was those little smoke thingies. So those things, because there was a crash. So where I live, to get here, you have to go up this really large hill. That is one of the only ways to get here. It's from that hill without going all the way around the other side of like town. It's a whole process, right? And so, I have anxiety. <sighs> what? That's crazy. You're kidding. I was freaking out because I was like, how do I get down like this hill? Because there was a cop there. He was- Oh my god, okay. I do like a rat's ass job trying to explain it in the fucking video. So, basically, just to recap, there was a crash on the hill. And the cop had to put the little caution lights at the top so that people wouldn't go down because they were cleaning up the debris and stuff and getting it settled. So I have to go around the other side of town to get home around this other way that I don't know how. Like, I don't know how to go that way. So I'm circling for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck to do. And so eventually I'm just like, okay, I need to go talk to the cop, which I didn't want to do. But I don't know. I was, I was scared. But that's where we're at now. So hopefully that makes sense. Probably not. So... I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go up to the cop. I'm going to go and I'm going to ask him for help because I need it. And so after I'm done circling around, kind of panicking about having to go talk to people, I pull back up to the intersection and the cop car is still there, but the, I don't see the, see the cop. I decide I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to yell. I'm going to see if he's there. And I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> like I'm terrified. And so, oh, I'm sorry, am I not going the speed limit? Sorry, this guy's bumper humping me right now. Um, it is so foggy, I hate this. So I'm like, excuse me, and he comes walking around, and he's like, oh, how can I help you? And I'm like, how do I, how do I get to, like, where I said where I live? And I was like, how do I get to there from here? And he was like, oh, well, you're gonna have to go, like, around this way. And I was like, I, I don't sir i don't know what that way is and he was like are you like do you know this area fairly well and i was like well i mean i went to preschool here and he was like so no and i was like no and i'm very frazzled i'm like not doing well kind of freaking out and so i i was i'm i'm like dude i'm 16 like i'm already nervous because i'm having to talk to a cop right now can you please just help me get home and so we're talking and this lady comes out from, okay, it's an intersection, right? Four-way intersection. One of the four ways, there is a lady walking out from the dark abyss. Literally, like, each way of that intersection, you could see something. Like, you could see houses down each way. Except for that one, it was just woods. There was nothing. It was just woods and that. Oh, I'm supposed to get in the other lane. It was that was it. There was nothing there, and so she comes up wearing. I, there was like llamas on her pajamas. I'm not joking. She literally her hair was in this like wrapped up bun, rat's nest type thing. I mean, she see. I okay. She had these llama pajamas on. I remember just. I don't know why because what she was wearing llama pajamas. It was just a very like, I remember it happening, okay? She has a cigarette in one hand and a flashlight in the other. And she just walks up and just is, like, just standing there. And me and the cop kind of look at each other. And the cop looks at her and is like, 
can I help you? And she was like, no. No, okay, Griffin, she sounds like she's been smoking cigs since the 1800s. Literally, voice raspier than fucking, it was bad, right? She's like, no, nope, I'm fine. And so me and the cop are like, okay. And then he's trying to help me plug it into the map to get to like where I need to go. And she goes, so what's going on here? And he was like, well, there, there was a crash. And she goes, uh huh. In my head, I'm like, shit, she had something to do with the crash. Like, she fucking set this up. Like, I don't even, what's going on? And so he was like looking at her and was like, all right, I'm gonna get back to my conversation now to help this lady. And she goes, get that. She goes, uh huh, you do that. Okay. All right. Like, what? It was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. I know all of you are probably like, Liv, it, that doesn't even sound that scary. It was just a lady. Like, you're overreacting. No. Y'all have to remember, this bitch came out of the fucking woods. Like, she came out of nowhere. There was nothing back there. She just walks out in her llama pajamas, cigarette acting very suspicious, and is like, what's going on here? Like, what? It was scary. That happened maybe, like, a few months ago. No, like a month ago. A solid month ago, probably. And I was babysitting at the same place. Love it there. Love them. Cutest little girl. Good neighborhood. It's just when I get out on like the other side of the neighborhood. It's, it's, it's scary, bro. So Devin's a home wrecker. She's, so hot. She's I gorgeous. <laughs> I was like, I don't blame you. <laughs> Can you stay still? I'm sorry. I like this is the first time I've talked to you in so long and this is what yeah, I get out well, of it. I mean, Dude, literally when Devin texts me, it's usually like 1 a.m. and he's like, guess what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it, what did you do this time? That's not right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, what? but I did her a favor. Exactly. I did her a favor. <laughs> I did her a favor. Totally. <laughs> Oh, oh, touch me, that is my no-no square. How did, what just happened? I just hit my head. Hit. I'm sorry, do you... On what? On this. Oh my god, I didn't tell you. Okay, well this just happened, so okay. I mean. Do you remember Hawkeye? Yes. He's, he's like, do you have a valentine? I was like, no. Uh, <laughs> and then he's like- He's the one from North Carolina? Yeah. And he's like, I don't either. Well, I asked him if he did, and he was like, I don't either. And, I'm, and he's like, so are we? And he put like the handshake emoji, and I was like, sure. He's and he's not. like, okay, but how is that gonna work? I was like, well, I don't know. You tell me. You started it, okay? And is that and good? He are was like, good? I'm gonna buy you something. I was like, no, you're not, because he tries to buy me food all the time, and I'm like, no, don't spend forty dollars. Devin used to do that all the time. Taco Bell. Yeah, he used to sit ordering me food every once in a while. Why don't you take advantage of that? It's just free food. Literally, though. No! $40 on like a fucking crunch wrap is not worth it. If someone <laughs> offers me to buy me my food, I'm not saying no. <laughs> like I when Devin's like, yes, food, like, I'm saying yes. I literally still have a Panda Express gift card that you gave me from like eighth grade. Do I, did I actually get you one? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I used it the other day. I think there's also one on the floor. Um, fun fact everyone called Devin my sugar daddy in the eighth grade. One, because we didn't know what that word really meant. And two, because. He would always buy me food when I was sad. You never, you never reject when people buy you stuff. You always make it seem like you don't want to, but then like... I was like, are you sure? You sure? Like, well, like, okay. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you. You're so nice. It, all, it also like depends on the person and like how you know them, you know? Oh well, yeah. If, if they're it, closer, then it doesn't mm. feel as right, but if it's some random stranger that's like, yeah, I just buy I'm like, okay, buy me food. Yeah. Okay, I feel... Mm, he has... <laughs> I want to talk about. <laughs> That's fair. Miley, I told you not to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Down. Yeah. I've been feeling so. I've been feeling so down.